In this Rotax Tech Tip, how to check fuel injected engines for fuel pressure oscillations, and how an optional fuel pressure damper can help. Here's what you'll need to measure fuel pressure oscillation. A fuel pressure sensor, part number 664365. An adapter for the fuel pressure sensor to the fuel rail an oscilloscope, and a wiring harness to connect them all together. This scope was under $60 online and arrived next day. Wiring diagram and step-by-step -step instructions are found in SI Pack 020. Remove the M10 banjo bolt from the steel fuel line at the 1-3 fuel rail. Install the adapter and fuel pressure sensor, using new sealing rings, in place of the original banjo bolt. Torque this to 25 newton meters, or 18 foot-pounds. Remove the harness connector from one of the engine's manifold pressure sensors, and plug the wiring harness in line. This provides 5 volts to the additional fuel pressure sensor, and still allows full function of the engine's manifold pressure sensor. Plug the last connector of the wiring harness to an oscilloscope, and we're ready to measure the fuel pressure oscillation on this 915 IS engine. The engine needs to be running with both fuel pumps on to take a measurement. I'll set the RPM at a high idle. Fuel pressure oscillations tend to show up at lower engine RPMs. Take all necessary safety precautions. And of course, during measurement, this is temporary for a ground power run only. Start the engine and let the fuel pressure stabilize. Take a snapshot on the oscilloscope and shut down the engine. On my budget USB scope, the graph displays absolute fuel pressure on the left. And I've zoomed in to see individual oscillations. In yellow here is fuel pressure moving up and down very quickly. An analog pressure gauge doesn't react fast enough to effectively see this, but a digital reading does. A tiny spike here can trigger engine monitoring units, or EMUs, to display a fuel pressure error. If I mark both high and low peaks, I see a maximum pressure reading of 3.75 bar, and a minimum reading of 3.15 bar. That's a difference or delta of 0.6 bar or 8.7 psi. The maximum allowable pressure fluctuation is 1 bar or 14.5 psi. So this test stand installation is within acceptable limits. That's not surprising, this has a very minimal fuel system. If an installed aircraft system exceeds one bar of oscillation, an optional fuel pressure damper assembly is available in either UNF or metric configurations that dampens fuel pressure oscillations to within acceptable limits. It's effectively a mirror image of the production fuel pressure regulator and bolts on to the 1-3 intake manifold. It connects to the fuel inlet with either UNF or metric provided fittings, and the aircraft's fuel inlet line is then connected to the damper. The damper's diaphragm is vented to airbox pressure through this clever hollow bolt with a nipple fitting. With the optional pressure damper installed, the fuel pressure fluctuation on this test stand engine was reduced from 0.6 to 0.4 bar or from 8.7 to 5.8 psi. The damper assures stable fuel pressure for optimal fuel injector performance and eliminates false indicated fuel pressure alerts. For complete instructions on oscillation measurement and fuel damper installation, see SI Pack 020. Contact your nearest Rotax authorized distributor or their independent service centers or your aircraft OEM for more information. Thanks for watching. You can find more videos on the official Rotax Aircraft Engines YouTube channel, Fly Rotax. Yeah.